Here we go. Welcome to Feisty Chess. I've got White playing against Ed Seltala. 17. Ed Sel. On Lee Chess, he's playing the Scandinavian defense. Ah, uh, the ice. Well, this, this version of it. Okay. I'm going to play Bishop B5, check. Try to be a little cheeky. If he goes Bishop D7, then we come back to C4 and we guard that pawn. Make him work for it a little bit. Or he can play C6 and play this like a real gambit. All right, that's what he's going to do. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's go for d4. He's got queen a5 check, but I just block with knight c3 and everything's okay. d4 is usually the best idea in these kind of positions. There's lines where white doesn't play d4. There we go, he's going to force us to do this. Now he might go for knight. Okay. Um, let's put our knight on e7, maybe. Yeah, knight e7 looks good enough here. <clears throat> and now I can recapture on c3 with a knight is the idea. I'm looking at d5 here. It looks really tempting. Now that he's uh, he's not castled already. I don't see any threatening moves he can make, really. d5, and if the knight moves somewhere, then... Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play this. There's lots of energy in this move. <clears throat> I didn't look at it as much as I should, but I'm wondering his options. If he moves the knight anywhere but e5 or back to b8, then I just take the bishop, and his king is stuck in the center. If he takes, then I have a a check I can throw in. Or I can recapture with queen or knight because pawn takes, knight takes, he can't take the bishop because of this lovely fork. <clears throat> Classic pattern there. It's not really threatening anything, though. And he can just cast along. Actually, queen takes, threatens, bishop takes c6. And this gets another, another piece out here. So, yeah, we're threatening bishop takes c6, which would win a piece. And he doesn't see this. So... We're removing the defender from the queen while we discover an attack on it. And he has to trade queens here, and I and I would just recapture with the bishop, but he didn't see that his queen was going Okay, well that was quick. Let's uh, let's look at it. Thanks for the game, Ed Seltala. Ed Seltala, 17. Unpronounceable names. So yeah, the main move here is bishop uh, d7. I'll show you how this goes. <clears throat> the point of bishop b5 check is once he plays here, then I'm covering, I'm covering this. So I move my bishop twice. Uh, black will usually go here, but then I can keep 
uh, bothering him. He usually comes back here. I can't hold on to this pawn forever, but I can kind of be annoying about it. So, yeah. He was, he's going to get knight d7 and then knight b6 in. But uh, the other way black can play is just as a gambit like this. And I wonder if I played the... Yeah, it's... He doesn't really have much compensation for the pawn, the computer says. Knight f3 is the main move. Uh, d4. Yeah, and this doesn't end up working out too well for him. Knight f3. Uh, knight e2, just so I could recapture with this knight. <clears throat> and just look at the development advantage. He moved that knight three times. Boom, boom, boom. Or he went he went through d5, actually. And uh, I moved my, this knight twice, so that gave me time to castle. He does have three pieces out, but his king is still in the center. And maybe he should castle on the queen side right away here. Instead, he goes for this. And yeah, wow. So I could not resist playing d5 here, and it's a huge advantage. Where exactly did black go wrong here? Yeah, knight d4, knight d5. And it wants him to castle immediately now, or play e6 now, while he's got the d5 square blockaded. That makes sense. But still, somehow down a whole piece. Knight takes d5, he takes d5, a4. I mean, uh, material is equal, but this is a piece down, according to the computer. So black should have played maybe e6 here, a6, just to clarify things on the queen side, or just castle right away. So we got in trouble here. And yeah, d5 is the way to punish this. Queen takes, and yeah, he needs to maybe go queen c7. Even then, how am I winning by this much? I've got the rook check. Bishop e6. Bishop f4. Okay, that doesn't really give away the bishop because I have tactics on c6 with the rook in the corner here. If bishop e7, probably the same idea, right? No, no, that wouldn't be the same idea. The bishop's still here. Uh, but here, queen e4. And he can't castle. Well, he could actually castle, couldn't he? Knight d5 is going to win it. Not this. This could be a nice little trap. And then I'm going to have to give up the queen because there's a mate on e1 if I move it. So something like this. Still a game, though. Still just an interesting material imbalance. So, yeah, he missed, he missed this removal of the guard idea. And the best he has here is trading queens and going into this piece down ending. But apparently it's more like three pieces down, according to the computer. So, okay, quick one. Um, maybe I'll get another one in here. Anyway, quick feisty game. Thanks for watching. Stay feisty.